Hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. Mark Garner here from EXP and uh, in today's video I just wanted to touch on my experience of what it costs to actually live here in Telford in Shropshire in the UK. Uh, I know some of you have been watching my videos and asking me questions uh, about the area, what the area is like, so I thought I'd give you a bit of an update of what my experience is from a financial point of view. So I have got some notes on me because um, no, I can't remember all the information. I'm, uh, I'm not that brainy. So if you do see me looking down at this sheet of paper, then you know why. So first of all, I just wanted to touch on housing costs. Now, if you're looking at renting, then if you're looking at renting a one and two bed apartment, you're probably looking at paying somewhere between £475 to £850 per calendar month which is not too bad it's obviously going to depend on the area that you're in and uh, the local amenities nearby if you're looking at renting a two and three bed property house then you're looking anywhere from 650 to 1250 pound per calendar month uh, and again that's really going to depend on the area and the, uh, the local amenities now if you're looking to buy property in telford then the good news is it is cheaper than some of the other bigger cities around the area, such as Birmingham, Warsaw and the surrounding places. Now, a one and two bed apartment start from 45 up to 319K. Um, now, the lower end, you're probably looking at shared ownership. The higher end, you're going to be in the, uh, the lush areas of Telford um, with some cracking views. Obviously, it's uh, very rural in parts over here, so you are going to pay for that. And if you're looking at purchasing two to three bed houses, then you're looking at somewhere between 50 to 700k. Again, that's going to be based on shared ownership at the, uh, the lower end. And again, the top end, you're going to have some, uh, some cracking views from the property that you're looking to purchase. Now, utility costs is a bit of a, a breakdown of, of what we've been paying uh, or very close to it. So gas and electricity, um, we're not with the cheapest provider, but with all the energy crisis that went on, um, it was difficult to, sh to change and find better deals. So we're actually paying around about £175 per calendar month. Now, we moved from a two bed into a three bed. Um, and I would say our two bed, which was slightly older, it was probably about a 20 year old house. Obviously the one we've moved into, as you can see from the estate, is brand new. So it's probably insulated better. We're not paying much more than what we was in the two bed. And this house is quite a bit bigger. Um, there is only two of us living in the property though. And water, um, not too bad. Around about £25 per calendar month. Broadband and TV. Now, obviously this is going to depend on uh, your supplier. Um, but Virgin on some of these new build sites, because they've put the cabling in, they do some cracking deals. I've just switched from Sky, I was paying over £122 per month. And I'm getting a lot more from Virgin uh, for, uh, for £85 per month. So that's a nice little saving there of just under 40 quid. Um, council tax now. Again, like I said, we was in a two-bed in Warsaw. We're in a three-bed here. Um, we're not paying that much more in council tax. Uh, for a three-bed... On average, you're looking at 1650 to 1800 uh, per year. So it's not that bad at all. Telford Council have been quite good in keeping uh, the, the council tax costs down, if I'm honest. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's relatively cheap compa compared to some of the other places around uh, the local area. Um, transport, now, this is a difficult one. I don't use the bus very often. Um, I've got my own car, the wife's got a car, so if you've got a car, you know the cost of running that, your insurance, fuel, um, tax, everything else, repairs. But if you do like using the buses, then you can buy a monthly pass for £77 per month. Um, the buses are mainly run by Arriva Travel over here, and uh, we were able to get into Shrewsbury. Um, for two quid, uh, which was a couple of weeks back. I think the government have got some sort of cap on the bus prices at the minute, which was really good. Um, and then groceries. Now, one tip that has definitely helped us with the uh, kind of cost of living crisis is we order our food from Hello Fresh. Me and the wife, we have five meals a week each. That's 10 meals. It works out to uh, 43 pounds per week. Now that's four pound 30 per meal each. Um, doing that has saved us 
quite a bit of money in the supermarkets. Yes, we still go to the supermarkets to buy stuff for lunch. Um, we're probably spending about another £40 a week on lunch stuff and just little essentials. Um, but because obviously food prices have been rising, the Hello Fresh boxes, they've pretty much stayed the same. I think they've gone up a pound per week since the, uh, the cost of living crisis and all the food prices rising. So that is a great tip. Um, there's other companies out there, Gusto, and I know there's a few more, which I can't remember the name of, but it's definitely worth checking those out to kind of lower your food bills and, um, and help with your, your budget on a weekly basis. Well, that's it from me. That's all I wanted to kind of cover. If you have got any questions, um, about Telford in general moving over here um, any of the new build sites or any of the second hand property around here hit me up in the comments um, send me a message you can contact me on 077 89 226 my email is mark.garner at exp.uk.com well that's it for me um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my walk and I'll see you in the next video cheers